Hey there guys, Penguins Recordings here. And today I'm going to be showcasing some Counter-Strike Source gameplay on Ubuntu 12.10. The game got released earlier today for Linux users. So I'm using a different screen recorder this time. Instead of record my desktop, I'm using Vocal Screen, something new that I found across the internet. This allows me to record the game in full screen mode, which is I'm I'm pretty happy. At least for this game it works. I tested it. Now I'm going to be showing you guys the frames per second that I get in the game as usual. First and foremost, we go to options so you can see the video settings I have the game at. It's at 1920 by 1080p. It's in full screen mode and it's in the widescreen aspect ratio. Under advanced, we have four times anti-aliasing, uh four times anisotropic color correction enabled, shader details high, high, high for everything that I can set to high, vertical sync is off so that we can have the frames go above 60 frames per second. I'm going to enable net graph 1 to show the frames per second in game after this that will appear at the bottom of the screen. So I create a server with 7 bots on easy mode just to showcase gameplay also, I'm not, not a very good Counter-Strike player, so I put it on easy. So we're going to play CS Assault. Now this game runs pretty well. From my couple of minutes of trying it before this, it is pretty rock solid. The, this is one of the better ports that I've seen. Half-Life was amazing, but this is really this really is amazing. The graphics look really nice. I can't wait for CSGO. Alright, at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice the frames per second. I average 200, above 200 frames per second, which is pretty good. When we get into rough gameplay later on, it should, it might drop to about 100 frames per second, but I'm not complaining when it's that high. So I go with the terrorists. Turn up the gun. Now notice that the frames per second are also going to be affected by the screen recorder, which is pretty amazing because the vocal screen hardly takes up any resources so this what you're seeing is almost raw just performance of the game here ah stupid butts get out of the way okay this guy's recording now I might die a couple of times headshot yeah just look at the graphics of this map looks so nice First CS is not a match, but CSGO is a lot better. I like the graphics in CSGO a lot more. I can hear the footsteps, but I'm not very good at telling where they are. Oh! 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 Headshot! Yeah, got him. I can hear that. You can hear that? Someone just opened the door, or closed the door, I think. Oh! He's taking the hostages. He's taking the hostages. No, you don't. No, you don't. Take a bullet. Take a bullet to the face! Oh, you want to take your homies? You want to take my homies? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. I got an achievement! Ah, sweet. So you get to see that the achievements work as well, straight off the bat. Dead Shepherd. Yeah, I'm not very good with this gun. I might die. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Heading to the red yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, oh, on the left, on the left. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill it. Yeah, I gotcha. Huh? Oh my god, you're hiding in the dark. I didn't even see you. You're smart, butt kick, Martin. You're smart. So, as I zoom around in spectate mode, you see that the frames are still pretty solid, even when I have a view of the whole map just now. It's above 100 frames per second all the time. Okay, let's go. This is a really good part of this game. I'm impressed. Oh my god, I think I'm going to be overpowered. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, I'm down. 
Ah, oh. but I took him out. Headshot, sucker. Took out one guy out. Oh, oh achievement. Another Two achievement. Left. I like. I like very much. Hey, look at that, I'm trying to push the recording to see if I can get the frames to go below 100. It's pretty solid, no matter how fast I move. I even have Firefox open in the background with a whole lot of tabs. I have Steam open in the background. I even have a separate, uh, what's it, I'm using a sound recorder to record the sound for this game. Which I thought would, would affect the screen recording capabilities, but no, it's pretty solid. I like the effect of motion blur when you turn left and right. It really adds a sense of realism to the game. Okay, it's time to be a superhero. Take him out. Take him out. Ah oh, yeah, headshot sucker. I think they're all there, aren't they? Are they? Are they there? Oh, oh, yep, yep, they're there. Oh, double headshot! Lucky. There's one left. Oh, <laughs> I love how the gun goes through the door. So I know he's there before he knows I'm there. Probably wouldn't work on a human player. Frames did drop below 100 just now, to so 90 frames per second. I think it's because of grenade. Or maybe I turned around too fast. Yeah, I got him. Another achievement. Oh, I love this game already. Like the epitome of multitasking. Yes! I got you. Suicide! Oh. As you can see, everything pretty much works in this game. Buying stuff, killing yourself, throwing grenades. Winning the match, losing the match, living, dying. There could be bugs with certain weapons, but I'm not sure. I haven't tried this in multiplayer with real people, so I have no idea um, if there could be connection problems or unsynchronization issues when you play. No idea. After my short couple of minutes of playing right now, I gotta tell you guys, if you do not own this game on Steam for Linux, please buy it now. Or at least buy it when it gets on sale. It is worth it. This is top quality right here. Oh, yeah, even another achievement. Two enemies left. They got me pinned down here. Yeah, I think we won this one. See him. See him on the map. Oh, did you take him out? Yeah, you took him out. Where is he? Where's the last guy? Heck, with all the footstep noises I'm making, I'd be dead in a real human player match. Footsteps are the difference between living and dying. Where is he? Oh, he's outside. He's outside. Is he on the roof? Jump on the box. Ah, oh, fail. I'm gonna keep an eye on the escape route. Oh yeah! Whoa, another achievement. I really like this game. Okay, let's go. All right, gonna give the grenade a go. Let's see if the frames drop. Remember that I'm using a recorder at the same time I'm playing the game at, at as high as possible settings. Well, not as high as possible. I could have pushed the anti aliasing up to 8, I think. And the anisotropy up to 16, but I didn't. So yeah, 
those could be performance kills. If I push those to the top, maybe you would see less than 100 frames per second. But for the purpose of this video, this is pretty this is pretty good, I guess you could say. He's outside. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, hit, 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 damn it. Yeah, there we go. Yep, yep, it dropped to about 40 frames per second just now when I forced it. Okay, so I'm disconnecting and I'm ending the game. Uh, I'll show you my system information from Steam just to verify it. So all the achievements I earned just now are still there, which is good. Definitely a worthwhile purchase if you don't have this game already for Steam or Linux. So I have an AMD processor, quad core Phantom 2, uh, 3.4 gigahertz, using Ubuntu 12.10 64-bit, just to let you know, uh, a GeForce GTX 680, and I have about 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM. Alright, thanks for watching guys.